Hello everybody and welcome. Thank you so much for joining me. Today we are going to continue our adventure in In Existence Rebirth, a fun Metroidvania styled game that has uh, tried its best, has done what it can to um, emulate and be great like the old retro game. So this is a, a retro inspired game, um, mostly stemming from, you know, just a, a, a feel of, oh, a feel of being um, on the, you know, Nintendo 64. So it, it does well with that. It's a pretty decent uh, feel. Obviously, the graphics are something that the, uh, you know, the Nintendo 64 could not do. Boy, he takes a lot more damage than I expected. Uh, but yeah, it does really good. It has a nice feel to it. The, um, the people and the actions and the sprites uh, definitely have a, oh, a feel for... Uh, what you would expect. I don't know how to deal with this guy to be honest with you. Whoa, I, he runs in. There we go. Ah, there we go. Our health unfortunately has been depleting rather quickly in our uh, Does that give me somewhere else? Yes, it does. Okay. Uh, we've been taking a lot of damage unfortunately, so we'll have to hopefully be able to deal with these people a little bit better than what we have been. I'm not sure I like that. Um, okay. Oh, I can hit the axe. That's good to know. So that little axe that he throws out is um, breakable or attackable, which is a, a good um, thing to know so that we can better avoid that damage. But as I... Oh, how am I going to... Well, that's going to be a way I can't go quite yet. Um, one of the things that I often run into when I talk about uh, retro inspired games or something like that, there is a lot of people that uh, feel that these games are uh, just copycats or, uh, um, you know, uh, clones or you know a ripoff of other games and i gotta say there are probably some games along that road that uh you know push that border uh that kind of uh maybe it's a little bit more uh inspired than you know you would normally think or something like that or a little bit more um uh, I'm not even sure though, you know, a little bit closer to what you would, that guy, uh, there we go, nice hit there. Ooh. Oh, oh, the block was in his way. Um, but I think for the most part, especially the games that I have played and the games I am trying to show off, they have definitely taken their own uh, step towards their, you know, their own uh, mechanics or they have they have definitely been inspired but they have also uh, take something from that inspiration and done something on their own they have made the game their own which is an important aspect here we want to be inspired and we don't want to copy and a lot of people also I think it's funny that people that often complain about you know retro inspired games often forget that we have two genres that are basically set up to do that to copy uh games and those would be uh metroidvanias and um roguelikes so those are designed to copy another game and it seems like a lot of people don't um really not care but don't seem to get upset about that oh, this is gonna be hard um but it's interesting to see that um you know people complain about these being copied but then don't um complain about you know your standard um 
you know, your standard Metrovania or your standard uh, roguelike. They, they, those genres have become popular enough that it's not that big of a deal. And, and for the um, most part, it is the same effect. You're getting a basic, um, you know, I'm gonna go ahead and just do the health potion. You get a basic idea of, um, you know, what you want out of the game, you know, basic set of mechanics or something, and then you have to make it your own. There's a lot of uh, Metroidvanias. There's a lot of roguelikes that definitely step out on their own and um, they are great games. There are probably some that uh, stay a little bit closer to the originals as well. Um, but um, for the most part, it seems that these two genres, um, I actually use that at a very good point and I use the potion well too, I think, because uh, I needed a little bit, but I didn't need the full amount, which is good. I'm just gonna, yeah, just shoot him up. Um, can I get up here? I can. Um, so there is, you know, some little bit of copying there, but, uh, I think definitely for the most part in the games that I have seen, they have definitely, uh, stepped out on their own and have done a really good job with taking the inspiration, uh, and going somewhere with it. And that's the point of, uh, I know what that means. It's a boss. Uh, the point of the, you know, the, the being inspired. Ooh, that's me. Dark called ouch. Okay, so let's just, yeah, ouch. Okay, so we're gonna have to, um, I'm not sure what you're doing here. I still got that big, uh, wow, crap, he's fast. Um, what's that thing that's like, I could do a, um, oh, I forgot how to do it. It's, uh, um, oh, that's not it. What's the magic? That's the magic button. That's what I was trying to do. There we go. That's what I was trying to do. I don't think we're going to survive this, but maybe he's staying there. Okay. Um, uh, yeah, oh, yeah. Come on. We got this. I didn't expect a dark dark hold. That's my name hold. So that's kind of cool. I like that. That's kind of an inspiration off of, uh, I think, Zelda 2. I think other games do it. Uh, Zelda Ocarina of Time has you fighting a normal you to hold the magic button and really oh i didn't Ooh, oh cool uh, um like a mega shot or a charged shot um D zelda 2 does that and i think ocarina of time as well i'm sure there's other games that do that as well uh but those are the two off the hot of man but i kind of think that's a a neat um mechanic you have somebody that's using your moves against you and it makes it a little bit more difficult to deal with i'm trying to find the map and see where i need to go hey i was gonna say i wonder if that charge is gonna break those rocks and it does Ooh, a chaos ring I wonder what that does um items is that under good Chaos ring. Oh, okay. So, not ice pendant. Fifty-eight to fit versus fifty-nine. Definitely the fire pendant is a little bit better. That gives me so much strength, but takes away a lot of my defense. I don't know that. That's. I think overall the ice or the fire pendant would be the better one. Because it's more even. It's a 58, 48, 37. Um, but that chaos ring raises my strength up so much, but lowers everything else. I don't think I'm going to go for it. I mean, I'm, I'm really, I really am a, a big, you know, a good offense is a good defense kind of player. But that was, it lowered it quite a bit. So I don't know about that. Let's see what is up this. You know what? I probably. Oh, I need a key anyways. I was going to say, I probably should go back there and save now that I have uh, defeated that boss. But there has been a wide gambit of retro inspired games from 
something that as simple as taking a mechanic or an idea or a, a way of playing and um, you know made a game out of it is you know uh, all the way to uh, taking most of a concept of a game so um, even some games that are completely different completely new but are designed to run on the you know a said retro system is a whole nother way of doing retro inspired games and uh, I like that I think that's cool that people are making games that are uh, you know made for the original systems uh, I think that's very cool very clever there's a lot of hard work involved in that a lot of um, you know uh, specifics and requirements and um, um, limitations that make it a challenge to um, you know do something you know to make a game on one of the original consoles when you have so much more at your advantage right now uh, but uh, there is you know definitely a uh, uh, coolness factor I did not want to be down here uh, it's definitely with these two guys uh, not where I want to be Ugh. okay okay but we want to was there anything I feel that there should be like something in this area but maybe not maybe this was just a dead end over here oh no one of these oh annoying guys I don't like those little magic dudes Okay, one of these these little squid they look like little squids to me I'm not sure what they're supposed to be, but that's what they look like to me. Oh just over to Another way up it looks like Where am I now? Okay, I think I know where I, I actually like that better because I don't have to deal with these uh, Potion guys or that guy there that just kind of came out of nowhere and killed me or attacked me um, we should go down and get healed and save. Definitely would be a good thing. And then head off. I want to check out what that other rock place is right there beside me. Now that I can go. And I believe there is another couple of rock spots. Did I just go in a... I found a hidden spot. Oh, look at that. I found a puzzle piece. Ah, uh -huh, yeah. Is there a place... Yeah, I've found four puzzle pieces. Is that what it said, right? Yeah, but I got some points. Let's put some points into... Wait a minute, that's 70 strength. Huh, I could also bump up my magic and my defense a little bit to hopefully, um, you know, then use the chaos ring. I got four points. Let's see if I can find something. Magnifying glass would be kind of nice. Archaeologist would be kind of nice too. <laughs> Half cost of all magic attacks. Display hidden rooms on the map would be really nice. Um, I think I'm gonna go with, you know, trying to get something a little bit higher up. Oh, oh, I don't like slimes. Slimes, not not good. Not good. Slimes are bad. Ah! Okay. So, yeah, I have played a few games. Uh, the only downside of making games that are on or only, you know, on the older systems is that, you know, maybe you don't make them on, you know, for the uh, computer as well, which is unfortunate because, you know, there has been a few games a few games that have came around that I've like, you know, I, I really would like to play this, but you know, I don't have the system for that. So uh, I really like that. I, I love that angel statue right there. That is amazing. Um, you know, there has been some games out there. What is that going to do? That's kind of wild. Um, that have came out. Oh, it was about to do something. Ouch, jerk. Um, Um, there's some been a few games that came out that definitely have been like hey I've really liked this, but unfortunately I can't play it because I'm gonna push my magic a little bit more um, You know it, You know, I I just don't have the system for them in those 
Oh, I love the ouch. Poison. Yeah, I need to get out of here. We're poisoned. Uh, I do have an antidote. I probably shouldn't have been all up in that guy's grill there. Um, antidote. There we go. That should cure my poison. You know, I'm just going to let that one fall off into the... Uh, the pit there. Yeah, there has been a few games that I've really, really... Uh, been interested to play but unfortunately have not been able to because of um, you know it, I don't have those systems and the older systems are fairly expensive to um, you know to buy or to own so that's that's also a you know a prohibitive thing so I would really like it uh, if more game developers that put something out on or make a game that is designed for a specific system to also you know put it out on the uh, computer as well because I feel that while it is neat and does uh, definitely um, cater to certain groups I think they limit their um, um, What's the word I want to use? Limit their uh, ability or limit their um, marketing, market share by doing, uh, you know, uh, limited uh, consoles, especially the old ones. If I mean, if it's a new game and if it's on, uh, you know, Switch versus Xbox or PlayStation, that's, I guess, not that big of a deal. But the older ones are, uh, you know, in some ways a little cost prohibitive although they are definitely a lot less expensive than a uh a switch or ow where did that come from oh, these bats ah crud no no go away go away dang i got all kinds of hits there i wonder if that was a trap down there that i or did this little magic guy make that appear oh it was a lamp i saw it that time I need to turn around to hit that guy. That probably would be a good idea. A lamp or something fell. <coughs> run, run. I feel that, yeah, a lamp fell on or fell. There's, there is something it, I feel that is like right there. It, it looks like maybe it's supposed to be up here. Yeah, that's probably it right there. I, I do have some potions of healing too. And also... I might just waste those guys out. Um, I also got, I need to go back and get that one thing. How much money do I have? 7,000, I have 700. I forget how much it was, but there was something back there that was really expensive, but very good. Ah, shoot, there he is. No, there's two of them. What? Run. Ah. <laughs> oh gosh. I'm being attacked or hunted by ghosts or wraiths, I guess. Ah, come on. Go somewhere where I could actually hit you, man. Gosh, I need to get out of here or I'm going to die. That was close. Um, where is the healing? I got a teleportation stone so I can go somewhere if I absolutely need to. I'm trying to figure out... Oh gosh, a wraith. Ah, no, 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 no. That means, what did I lose? I don't think I lost a whole lot there. A little bit exploring, a little bit of experience, I think, but not too much. I think it was right before, oh no, it must have been a little bit after I booked that. Yeah, I came back. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's it. I came back to heal and then I went up that way. So a little bit of exploring that way is I think all that I've lost. That way up there, way up there in the upper left corner is a um, a locked door. And that's what I'm trying to do is find that locked door. Let's go back out this way and see if I can do a little bit better. Um, here we go. We're not doing too bad. There's a couple things that are a, a, a bit challenging to me. These guys seem to be a quite a challenge to me for some reason, and I'm not sure why. The wraith seemed to be a little bit of a difficulty as well. Ouch. 
So we got to kill this thing fast so he doesn't do that again. I used all that up, unfortunately, but is this the down? This There was a down somewhere. It's possible that it's right here. Yep. Ooh, a nice spooky cave. I saw something down there. I want to take jump down slowly. There's definitely something down there. I was thinking it was a, a lot of money, that thing that I wanted, though. And I can't remember how much it was, so we'll have to maybe jump back there. A frog. Oh, with the tongue. Is that all you're gonna do? There's two frogs with tongues. Oh, oh, ah, ah, crap, I'm poisoned. Um, I should still have that in. Oh, no, I used that. Um,. There's a lot of poison things around here. Maybe we're gonna have to grab some more antidotes. We're gonna have to definitely be a little bit more careful. That looks like something I'm gonna have to have a special jump for. Okay, we go back to poison frogs. Let's see if we can just jump over them and get around them would we'll probably be, oh, you kill it. Kill it quickly. Oh. I do not recall how much that, uh. So we've got two places that we can't go yet. Oh yeah, we got away from that. So, yeah, we're gonna have to definitely go back and get some antidotes, I believe. Oh no, get away from the poison and the fire. Ha, <laughs> he's stuck. <laughs> That's hilarious. Um. Can I just kill him? There we go. And we even got the experience off that. That's pretty sweet. That's kind of funny. Uh, where have we not go? This, this is the way we went last time. Let's see if we can go out a little bit farther. Ooh, no. I don't think we've been... I don't think I've seen that wormy thing. I'm, I'm, a, I'm actually terrified of the worm. Because the stuff that we've ran into, like that big slug and stuff, definitely does not like oh ugh, crud um something yeah there's this is like an evil poison area or something this is tricky definitely a tricky area right here trying to see what's up there without going too much up there ouch that hurt but I think we can make holy armor. Let's see what the holy armor does. Holy armor. 58. Oh, a lot of defense. Oh, no magic. Took my mat. Wow. Um, so the, the defense goes up like tremendously. I'm going to try that out. That's that seems like a very much a thing that I would go for here. Um, I think this just drops me off over here, and then we have something. Ah, crap. I've got to be very careful here. Uh, we might even want to have the super potion. We're going to be all out of... This guy is, like, amazing. Go. Is that a down? That is a down. We have down a right oh there's all kinds of stuff i'm not sure what those things do or how they help me how do you go up though there seems to be an up but i'm not sure how to get there oh there's a spear on the end of that's kind of cool he has like a two two uh, different types of attack let's go down i guess i've just got nervous <laughs> I hope there's a save spot soon. Are you actually in something? <laughs> I was like... Okay, we got right or left. Which way do we want to go? Hmm, let's go this way. Ah, uh, there's another chest. Ah, crap, stupid bat. I, you get away. 
Ah, uh, bring it. Well, the armor definitely is helping. That's doing a lot less help or le less damage than it was before. Oh, come on. Jeez. I still take the same amount of damage because I get hit five times. Uh, okay. There we go. Okay, a crazy knight. That's kind of cool. Oh gosh, I didn't want to jump down that far. Ouch. Get away. Oh, that was close. Ooh. We can't get up there, but we are so, so low on health. Um, gosh, we're going to have to buy some more health super potions, I think. Watch, right over here, there's going to be a health or a... Oh, a super potion. That's kind of good. A safe spot. Right here. Nope. I would like to get to another safe spot, though. Ugh. Oh, gosh. These wraiths are insane. I like the... Uh, um... Uh, I don't know what I was going to say. The... There was something, yeah, there's a lot of this like super jump I'm going to need coming up. It looks like, um, I definitely like the, uh, beastie area in this game. Gosh, all these bats again. Oh, oh this is so pathetic. All right, let's get. Let's get up there. I hope I can make it back to the problem is, oh, spikes, get off that. Um, not going to be getting back there, but, um, getting back to, well, getting back to a health place is going to be a little bit challenging. I do have a, uh, another potion. I'm getting a good bit of money, but I'm also going to need a bunch of money here to get me a few more health potions. See what's over here. We could find a sa safe spot. I was going to say really quickly. I should have went right. <laughs> uh, we're going to jump back and teleport all the way back to... Can I teleport back to... The Isle of Hope. I can. Let's jump back here and check out the shop real quick because I want to see how much that money is. Let's give me a couple more antidotes. I got teleport stone. Silver sword really isn't better than what I have. What's that say? Oh, the Pegasus boots was 1500. Okay, so we're going to get. One super potion and a couple antidotes, and that's it. I really would like to have those Pegasus boots. But alas, we have not got them yet. There is a... That was probably the way I came in. I wonder if there was another place. Let's, I don't remember where some of these... Or what was blocking me here. If it was a rock, we can go explore it and maybe be able to get something real quick. I don't recall what was there. I do recall coming into a uh, couple of... Or maybe this is the one I couldn't find out how to get. I bet there is a super jump somewhere that I need to perform. I think that was the one I was having trouble getting. I don't think I see another spot open, but I would believe there was a rock blockade at some point somewhere and i don't know where it is though i don't see any place to go up that's the issue even if i go over maybe here oh there was a um there was an upper where that i don't can't get out that way okay they're doing little damage to me now which is good i really really like that now I'm poisoned. Great. That guy's going to kill me because he poisoned me. 
Um. Here's this guy. But I don't see a way up anywhere. You know, this is here. I can't go further. I feel like it's that way a little bit, but I don't know. And it looks like there's the path right there below me, but I can't quite figure out how to get over there. If I go this way, that's where the box is. This is a dead end, so that's not anything. So I'm not sure how to... There is a, like, a drop. Oh, no, there isn't. Nope. See, that is what gets me up there. I don't really know how to do that. I'm thinking that there's probably a sub, a super jump there that I need to get to is uh, So I'll have to wait until I can get that I guess Oh, this is where I want to be at is okay, Save it and then we are going to tell we're gonna look a little bit just to make sure that we have Opened up that's the only place that I can see that is not a And there's only the castle and the island of hope yeah it's the only place that i see right now that's a door that we need to lock and then there's uh unlock and then there's all this area still that we need to explore so well, let's jump back here we'll call it an uh, episode and uh we'll uh, see you next time thank you so much for watching i really do appreciate it and we will continue our adventure next time thank you and bye everybody